everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with a video that I haven't done for ages. Um, find my pattern. So for anyone who hasn't seen this before, um, people send in stuff that they've seen, ready to wear things, things they've seen on people on TV wearing, at, that they fall in love with, and one, either they don't want to buy it at full price, because who does, and two, they can't find the pattern. So they email it to me and I go and hunt out the patterns for them. So um, I've got two, four, six, eight to talk you through, and then I've got one at the end which I couldn't find, so I'd really love your help. Um, one thing I should say is these are just my suggestions, so if anyone looks at it and thinks, oh, okay, you idiot, it's clearly this pattern, please, pop a comment down below because it's really nice the whole point of this is to help each other out because we are all facilitators of making stuff so yeah if you can see a really obvious one that I've missed please just put some comments and share the love um right first thing before I get going um, I've actually made something and I don't think I've worn this in a video yet so I just thought I'd give you a little well I can't really properly show you, um, it's the mitosis dress from Deer and Doe, um, I'll just stand up and show you, it's in this lovely um, leopard print crepe from Fabrics Galore, I think they still have some actually, um, they've got it in a few colours but I really like the sort of petrol colour, um, I really, if you haven't made this pattern guys, it's a seriously good pattern, it's a really relaxed fit, you could eat a roast dinner with loads of, I mean there's quite a lot of space, I mean you could eat as much as you like and still still feel comfortable. It's just an, it's really, it's just a really good shape. Um, the only thing that I did to change is that I extended the sleeve, so I added, um, which is really easy to do, you just added some length on and I made little sort of cut kind of turn ups because I made it in August and I knew I wanted to sort of wear it through winter. And I've worn it loads, I really like it. Um, the only other thing is that I extended the skirt as well because I wanted it a sort of midi length, but yeah, really like it. Definitely would recommend it. Right, gonna get going. So the first pattern I have got for you guys is um, came from Liv. This is a wrap dress from a company called uh, Camperay, Camperay, I think? And it's called the Loretta Silk Wrap Dress at a whopping $1,200. I could see why Liv didn't want to make this or buy this. So I had a bit of a look and I think I've got a really good option. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop up um, the pattern and the picture next to each other so that you guys can see them next to each other. Um, so this beautiful, silky, delicious wrap dress. I was like, am I gonna be able to find this? Started hunting and I think I've got a really good option. So what I found was a Simplicity 8013. So you can see from this, actually, this is a pretty good match. Um, it's got that lovely kind of deep wrap at the front. It's floor length, it's got a tie, um, and, and, and quite a decent tie, which is like the original. The only thing I would say that I it wasn't perfect is the sleeve. So the Simplicity one has got that beautiful bell-shaped sleeve, um, but the Loretta one has a shorter version of a kind of quite exaggerated bell shape. So what I was thinking that you could do as a little bit of a hack is you could just um, shorten the sleeve. So all you would need to do is you keep the top half of the sleeve and you basically kind of cut a wedge out of the middle because you want to keep the excess so that you get that nice bell shape and you could if you wanted to also add a bit more volume into that if I think you probably need to twirl the sleeve well, actually you should really twirl the whole thing but definitely twirl the sleeve but I thought that was a really good base and I definitely think you could get there get that beautiful dress from this simplicity pattern so anything that I mention I will pop links to as well so you guys can go and have a look as well Right, next one up um, is this jacket that Nadia sent in from Belle Rose. Um, to be totally honest, when I first saw it, I thought, well, actually, this is quite an easy one to look for. Why, why has Nadia struggled? I really thought this was going to be very easy. Turns out, no, it was not easy at all. Um, so, this jacket um, is reversible. Um, 
I don't know if I got that. I've got, so what I decided to do is I've got two patterns and if anyone can think of something better, please share below. Um, so this jacket is cropped. It has a slight bomber jacket feel to it. It's quite sporty. It's got a collar and a um, hood. It does look like from the pictures that the sleeves are grown on, but I, I, I can't tell for sure. So the two options I've got, the first one, which sprung to mind instantly as a sort of option, is the Amelia jacket from um, So Over It, and this is part of Lisa Comfort's magazine. But I thought this was really good as a base, so it's cropped, which is similar to the first version. Um, it's got... Um, it's got that elasticated sleeve. It's got, um, it, it does have elasticated bit around the waist, but I thought you could leave that out to make it similar, more similar in shape to the original. Um, it doesn't have the hood with this. So that was my like, mm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So I thought that could be, it might be that you have to kind of mix two together. So that was my first one. The other option that I found, which maybe will be better actually, it's the Sarah jacket from Pauline Alice. Um, this actually is a really gorgeous pattern if anyone hasn't kind of seen it. Um, really nice. Um, so the thing that was really cool about this jacket is um, it, it, the version that I found, let me find it on here. So it's view B. Um, it looks quite sporty. It's got raglan sleeves. It's got that kind of it's got the hood as well, which is great. Um, but if you look at the picture of Pauline Alice in it, it actually looks quite similar to the um, the original, what was it called again? The Bell Rose jacket, or the what, jacket from Bell Rose. Um, so I thought that was kind of quite close. You could crop it. You could even make it a size bigger to make it kind of more... Um, kind of, what's the word, kind of looser. Um, but I thought somewhere between those two were quite good options. So I hope, Nadia, that that gives you some sort of something to get going on. Next up, we've got this really seriously sexy um, velvet jumpsuit from Toast, which Claire sent in. Um, I saw this and actually, to be honest, quite instantly thought of a pattern, then went and thought I must have a proper hunt and actually my original thought was probably the closest that I found. So the pattern that I've got is the Vogue 9075 which I think quite a lot of people have made, it's a really classic shape. Um, I actually, I've made this and I love it. So the reason that I picked this pattern, you can see from the picture actually, quite similar in terms of the, the sort of um, the silhouette. Um, the only thing that was different is the neckline. So I think the I think if you make add a kind of V-neck to this pattern, I think you're almost spot on. You would also probably need to make the clot a little bit longer. Um, I will say, having made this pattern myself, is if you are going to do it, cut it out um, because I think I'm pretty sure I ended up cutting like four inches off the bottom of it because they're, they're so long. So, um, yeah, I, they might actually, you know, it, when you construct it, it might actually be the perfect length because the toast ones are almost down by the ankle. Um, the reason I picked this one is it's got the pleats. Um, the toast one has got a couple of pleats at the front. Um, the toast one doesn't have princess seams, which the Vogue one does, but, you know, it's pretty close in terms of a shape. Um, so... And the back of this, again, um, the Vogue one zips all the way up the back, but you could totally have it where it zips halfway up and then add, and then it would be very easy to have that kind of um, slit opening or keyhole opening that the Toast one does. So I thought that was pretty close. And the reason that that Toast one looks so beautiful is it's made in, the, in a beautiful silk velvet, which is so drapey and beautiful. So if you made the Vogue in that beautiful velvety, velvety fabric it would have it would look just like that I think so yeah I was quite pleased with that one um next up we've got um this amazing maxi kind of sexy maxi dress from Reese which um Marjorie sent in 
I did quite a lot of um, research for this because actually it's quite a simple shaped dress but it was finding something with that deep V which um, I'll pop a close up it's got this sort of um, yeah really really deep V it almost goes down to virtually the kind of high waist and um, it has this lovely kind of panel of um, kind of sheer fabric as well so I've got a good option which I think you could totally work with as your base to make this beautiful dress um, it is the da -da -da, McCall's 7 nine two seven um so i'll show you the line drawings of this so that you can really see what i'm talking about but as a silhouette like basic outline pretty spot on i thought um so you can see there's a long version um of this it has a sort of train at the back which if you don't want to have you can you can it's quite easy just to cut it cut the hem kind of straight so that you don't have all that excess the skirt um, isn't panelled at the front and it's panelled at the back which I think is really nice it adds um, it'll add kind of shaping um, there are two variations for the neckline as well so there's a very deep which is on the cover the very deep V which is similar most similar I think to the Reese dress but there's also a version where you can have a little bit kind of that you put like an insert so um, I thought that was the bit that you could start playing with sheer fabric if you wanted to make it feel more like that restress. But I thought that was a really good sort of base to kind of get stuck in. Um, next up we have got, um, I got, oh who's this, what have we got now? Oh yes, we've got a wrap dress that Christina sent me, actually Christina sent me about four pictures of different things so I just picked one which I found the perfect one. So this is a really sweet summer wrap dress with really lovely frill. Um, it's got sleeves. Um, I found a really close match actually so I was quite pleased with this. This is the Heidi dress from Sew Over It. Um, this comes as part of um, Elisa Comfort magazine. I can't, I'm not 100% sure if it's available as its own pattern. It might be but you might need to buy the magazine. I can't remember. But anyway this dress, well if you look at the line drawing, it's really really close to the version that I'm showing you. Um, it's got that lovely wrap, it's got sleeves, slightly puffed sleeves, um, it's got an option where you can add a frill on the bottom. The only thing that's slightly different is it's got some gathering here but I figure you know that's pretty close and the image that I can see, I mean there could be gathering there, it's quite hard because she's got her hair in the way but I thought that was a really good kind of close option um, for, Chris, for Christina so I hope I hope that was a good you know good match for you um, right up next we've got um, I got an email from Claire who sent me two options and I've picked one um, both of them were from um, the TV show Killing Eve which I'm sure a lot of you have seen if you haven't what are you doing just go just stop watching this video and go and watch Killing Eve now it's mega um, so she sent me two things that she loved that um, she'd worn in it and she does have the most incredible outfits in this in this um, TV series so um, I found the one of them and um, I thought it was a good match so it's this beautiful kind of silk um, over jacket and she's wearing it in the bit where everything in her life is not going great um, and she, she kind of lounges around in bed in it which I'll show you a picture of which I thought I kind of love the idea that you're wearing something so luxurious in bed um, but yeah this is a classic tailor coat it's got seam up the back um, it's midi length um, it's got slit at the back as well I found a really good option um, it's the hot toddy coat from Our Lady of Leisure um, I actually spoke about this coat in a video recently so it's it's around um, this was really close you can see if, the only thing that I would do for this is that I would leave off the patch pockets um, if you want to make it closer to the Villanelle one and also if you're making it in a drapey fabric you may want to line it and this pattern doesn't come with a lining but you could just bind the seams if you wanted to and actually it would make it kind of looser and lighter but I thought shape wise this was spot on it's got the proper collar it's got you know normal shaped sleeves yeah I thought this was a good option so I hope that Clara you can recreate your Villanelle dreams um, with this pattern <laughs> um, next up we have got 
um, oh I really love this one. So this is from Liv. She sent in the picture of this puffer jacket from Cos. It's really cute. It's got this sort of tie detail at the front. It's got almost like inseam pockets. Um, so I had a bit of, I did quite a bit of research and I, again, I thought this was going to be, I've got two options and I think one of them will be good. So um, the first one I have got is the Denali vest from Seamwork. Um, I'll show you a picture because the cover image of this is actually of a man wearing a puffer jacket, but there are definitely pictures, I think it's sort of unisex, um, so there's pictures of women wearing it as well, so I definitely think this would work. I picked this because, um, it's, it, shape wise, it's pretty similar. It's got that high collar, it's got the puffer down the front. It does have a seam line kind of up here, but you could definitely get rid of that if you wanted to. Um, the only thing that you're going to have to change with this is you're going to need to add a tie and inseam pockets, which are actually really, really simple to do. Um, if you're looking for a way of doing it, um, I Am Patterns Artemis Jacket does it, inseam pockets, they're really, really simple. So I definitely think that you could hack that yourself. And the lovely thing about the COS kind of thing is it, it's, yeah, I just love, I like the vertical as well, the vertical um, quilting, it's beautiful. So the other option I thought, if you were unsure of that was quite right, um, the Tamarack jacket from Grainline Studio, and I did quite a bit of research and I've seen lots of people who have turned this into a vest or like a gilet, which is similar to the Cos one. I put this one in because um, I felt like the pockets, although not in seam pockets, I thought these pockets were closer to the COS version. And also I know that you get quite a lot of instruction in here about the quilting side of it. So if, um, if, if you've never done quilting before, the Tamarack might be the way to go because I know that they really sort of hold your hand through each stage of the process. Um, I'm sure the seam work do as well, but I definitely know that this one's kind of really good and lots of people have made it. So if you want a bit of inspiration, you can go and look on Instagram. So yeah, I hope those two, one of those two will kind of create your dream, your dream puffer. Um, this dress was from, who, oh, who sent me this? Oh, Tunje. So she sent me this dress quite a long time ago. It was like the beginning of October. And I said I'd sort of see if I could find it. And I think I've got a really good option. Um, it's so beautiful. I love the back opening of it. Um, took me quite a long time but I think I think I found a really good pattern so this is a, the Butterick 6414 so when you look at the kind of cover image of the Butterick one it doesn't look to, to be honest totally that close to the beautiful one that Tinjay sent so um, then I looked at the line drawing and I was like yes this we could definitely work with this so if I show you the line drawing now you can see that um, there's an option with a long skirt, which is perfect. That really simple shape, which is similar to the kind of one that we're trying to match. Um, in terms of the only thing that you're going to have to do is change the shape at the top of the dress. And this should be fairly simple to do actually, looking at the, the what we've got, what we're sort of working with. And you might want to slightly shape at the front, the sort of front bit so that you could raise it a little bit and have a little bit more shaping because it does look from the image that there's a slightly curved hem just at the sort of where the top bit meets the skirt. Well, not hem, but you know, curved piece. Um, but I thought if you use that, you could definitely, that's a really good base. I think you just need to play around with the neckline to make it, it would all only really involve you cutting it in a bit more extremely. And yeah, you've still got that back slit opening. Um, yeah, so you take the top of version A onto the bottom of version B and I think between those two you'd end up with something really beautiful. So I hope that was helpful. Um, is this my last one? I think this is my last one. Okay, so my last one that I found and then I need your help. So this was sent to me by Ginny. This is from actually a really interesting company. If you haven't come across them I would definitely recommend just as you know people who make. They're called Stealth and they, um, the premises is that they make everything within the UK 
um, they make to order so you place your order and then they make it in-house for you um, pretend they're quite simple shapes and you know I think a, a lot of us will be like oh I could do that but I really like the idea that you know you don't have loads of stock you're not you're not like throwing away things at the end of the season, you just make to order. And Ginny sent me this set, which to be totally honest, I have also been looking at thinking, I really want this, but I can't justify buying it because we could make it. So um, it's this like really lovely slouchy sort of everything you want to wear at this time of year set, um, kind of lounge set. So it's like joggers and a top. So I did quite a lot of research. I thought this would be really easy as usual and actually it was more tricky than I thought. So for the top, um, I chose the Jocko Pullover from Ready to Sew. I picked this one particularly because the version from Stauffer you can see has got a dropped um, shoulder sleeve and that gives it that kind of really loose, relaxed fit. So I thought the Jocko has that, it's got that lovely drop sleeved it's such a nice pattern actually if you're looking for like a wintry jumper um, it comes with a variation where you can have it I can you can see from the cover image with a high kind of polo neck there's also a round neck version it's quite loose fitting um, it's quite long as well so if you want to make it more like the staff one just shorten it a little bit um, but I thought that was a pretty perfect sort of version for the top the tracksuit bottoms actually were much more difficult than I thought um, trying to find ones that were quite relaxed fit, ones that didn't have, um, quite a lot of them have cuffing at the bottom. So what I did find was the Amina pant from Paper Cut Patterns and I thought this was quite a good option. Um, I would probably size them up because these look quite kind of, well obviously the model is very skinny, but I would maybe size them up. Um, but I thought those were really good sort of base. They've got the elasticated waist, um, they've got pockets as well, which who doesn't want pockets? Um, the line drawing does have cuffing, but you can see from the image there's a version without any cuffing and they look nice. So size them up and then they'll be perfect and really comfy. Right, so that is it. And I really hope you enjoyed that and found, you know, I hope I found you guys some good patterns. Um, the one that I got really stuck with, so this comes from, um, this is from Ruby. She sent it to me quite a while ago, actually in August, and I did a bit of a hunt and I couldn't find anything. So if you guys can help, I'll show you the picture. It's this really lovely shift dress with this quite sort of dramatic kind of, almost like fisheye darts, but it's got this, this sort of, um, waist kind of belt which is sewn into the side seams or the the kind of the darts at the front um if anyone's got any ideas i'd love i'd love to hear them because i drew a blank to be totally honest um or at least something that she could base this off um yeah i was stuck anyway i'm going to go and let you get on with your weekend because that's it and um, thank you for watching and I hope, yeah, you've got lots of nice sewing projects on this weekend or you know, over the coming weeks. Um, I actually have still not cut out my coat that I was supposed to be making so I really, this weekend I'm going to do some of it. Right, so have a lovely weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye!